don't rush to judgment. That is the message from the legal team representing one of the men charged in the killing of Ahmad Arbery. Arbery was 25 years old. He was jogging in Brunswick in February when police say that he was chased down and shot and killed by a white father and son. The men remained free for months. Last week, though, a video surfaced showing the confrontation, and that sparked national outrage. It compelled the GBI to lead the case. Soon after, the father and son were charged with murder. Joe Henke is live in Decatur, where he had a chance to talk to one of the attorneys, the attorney representing Travis McMichael, the son in this case. Joe, this is the first time we've heard from those lawyers. First time we're told they were retained on Monday. This is the first time we're now hearing from them. The defense team for Travis McMichael, as well as the separate defense team for his father, Gregory McMichael. No strangers to high profile cases. This will be just their latest one that they are working on. Travis McMichael's team at the law firm behind me, they told me they are in the early stages of reviewing and investigating this case. But so far, they believe many people in the public are jumping to conclusions. Travis and Gregory McMichael have spent one week in jail and both now have defense teams working on their cases. Travis McMichael is being defended by Decatur attorneys Robert Rubin and Jason Sheffield. No matter how you look at this case, a young man has died and that is always a tragedy. Prosecutors say this cell phone video captures an unarmed Ahmad Arbery as he jogged through a Brunswick neighborhood in February before allegedly being confronted by the McMichaels and shot by Travis. We will be presenting our evidence in a court of law. McMichael's attorneys today not discussing specifics of the case as they complete an independent investigation. We are asking everybody who's following this case, who is reading about it, who's reading about it piecemeal, who is who are forming opinions without knowing all the facts to just take a breath. Rubin's past trials include defending an Atlanta public schools principal in the seven month long APS cheating scandal trial. And here Rubin is shaking hands with Hemi Newman, whom he defended during the 2012 Dunwoody daycare murder trial, with Newman being found guilty. Travis's father, Gregory, now represented by Macon attorneys Franklin and Laura Hogue. The husband and wife team releasing a statement reading in part, while the death of Ahmad Arbery is a tragedy causing deep grief to his family, a tragedy that at a first appears to many to fit into a terrible pattern in American life, this case does not fit that pattern. The full story to be revealed in time will tell the truth about this case. Franklin Hogue's past cases include representing Stephen McDaniel in 2011, who pleaded guilty to murdering and dismembering Mercer University Law School graduate Lauren Giddings. Lauren Hogue previously served as president of the Georgia Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers. And Gregory McMichael's attorneys say they will hold their own press conference tomorrow in Macon. Meanwhile, Travis McMichael's attorneys tell me they are now working to schedule a bond hearing for their defendant. But because of the current ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, that may be delayed. Now, coming up at 6, I'll pay, play a 911 call from the days before Arbery was murdered. In that call, you hear Travis McDonald describe recent activity that police responded to in his neighborhood. We'll send it back to you in studio.